Welcome back to Beyond Good and Evil. This is our third stream. I'm not sure how many videos that means, but uh, we recently <laughs> lost our punkle and gained this soldier man. Oh, look at him. Uh, which also reminds me, if you look in his inventory, he actually does have Carlson and Peters on him. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at his armor. Oh, it's just <laughs> armor. Cool. Yeah, it's just it's goofy armor. And the two health items I gave him. Her containers. Uh, but yeah, like yeah, you're way more decked out. <laughs> yeah, I like that he has this in his inventory, even though it's never used for anything. Like you would never even know it's there unless he del deliberately looked at it. Um, it's the only thing keeping him sane. Come on. Yeah, we lost our pig uncle. Um, we got a bunch of key cards, which means hey, we can take a look at some new stuff in the city. Yeah. And uh, we, we also have the pearl and animal detectors, so if yeah. you saw on that map, there's an animal nearby we haven't got a picture of yet. Oh, right. And now because we've uh, we published a new issue, we've got some new protesters. Oh, wow. Not just a protester, a fan. Yeah, like... <laughs> He's specifically here for Shawnee. Yeah. I got no stake in these political issues, but Shawnee, woo! She takes great <laughs> pictures. For some reason, there's always a pig in the background. Shawnee plus Iris. <laughs> Shawnee plus Iris plus circumscribed star <laughs> equals peace. Yeah. Not sure what that's about. Is that supposed to be like a an aperture? Is that a camera? I, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a camera aperture. some amazing whales though he's a mobile game developer <laughs> I want to imagine he's finding even more looters caves and like the entire resistance is like based around acquiring resources by killing the shit out of pirates you know whatever it takes yeah. that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> They clear the caves in the bays. This taxi driver's fucking murdering people every day out there. <laughs> I'm I'm sad that uh, once you get double H, he doesn't wave at the camera. <gasps> he doesn't even acknowledge that you're looking at him. He's just so confounded by all this stuff that seems technology. Familiar. Uh, um, but yeah, we got uh, the triangle key card. Might as well check it out. So Taxi Man is down with us. Yeah. Mustache uh, uh, Pilot Man is warning us he might ah, be I a narc. In, yeah. Ah, that's right up my alley. All these colors, all, all these flavors of people in Hillis. That's as far <laughs> as it goes in that direction. It's a district blocked by the Alpha sections. Be careful. Okay, we'll catch up further on. Oh, right, it's this area. I was trying to remember which of the Alpha Section places this was. This is the one we haven't gone to. Yeah. I like the timing stuff with the lasers here. It's neat. I don't know why this whole area is like this, but... Because, <laughs> like, it's purposefully built. Like, it's, it's tiled floors and stuff. Whoops. Not really like destroyed tile floors, they're just very small sections. Mm hmm. Uh, people are asking for a bit more game audio? Okay. Um, every three decibels of audio uh, is twice as loud. So. That makes very little sense. Yeah, uh, volumes like logarithmic, it's really yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the word I, I meant to use, but it's. It's weird. If you look at volume gauges on OBS, it's like, oh, it's halfway down. It's like, no, that's actually like 400 times as quiet as you think. <laughs> Whoa. I knew somebody was gonna shimmy on this inch long platform. Mm hmm. It was either that or somebody with a morph ball. It's the only <laughs> option. Oh man. If only I could get like a spider ball power up. 
and then take a picture of the spider in the ball for sure oh yeah Also, the hit the hit boxes for the lasers are a little whoa bigger than you might think they are. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I love these dramatic leaps because Jade can't just take a big step. <laughs> yeah. Just lift your knees, girl. Come on. Yeah, she uh she goes for it whenever she does anything. I just want to know how she got good at this. <laughs> no half measures. That's how. <laughs> Whoops. Let's eat a cape up. Just cram this right in her face. Oh. <laughs> it seems to shrink a little bit though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now we, we got the triangle key in the dungeon, right? Yeah, we got it in the previous dungeon in the, in the factory. Okay. So this couldn't be the first time we're meeting these backpack men. Right. Yeah, you, you absolutely have to do that dungeon first. Any any area where you can meet the alpha sections now is like uh, not until after you beat the, the second dungeon of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the same time this came out, like within a couple months of each other, Splinter Cell also came out, I think, the very first one. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was... It's just funny to look back at that now because I feel like that was an era where a lot of people were trying to make stealth games and for the mm. most part i think that stopped like there's a couple <laughs> and there's and like every action game has like stealth kills as a gameplay option now but there's like not too many all in out stealth games anymore yeah yeah oh, God, they aren't even making new splinter cells anymore or at least yeah. they haven't for a little while. They haven't for a little while. Whoops, personal photo. Um, yeah, I'm. when did the last Splinter Cell come out? It was like... I don't know, at least three or four years ago? Mm-hmm. Oh, whoops. That's one other switch. Like, I mean, compared to Splinter Cell, the... Uh Stealth is a little underdeveloped, but then yeah. that's the whole point of Splinter Cell, and it's not really the point of Beyond Good and Evil. Yeah, it's just... It, it's not the fairest comparison. Yeah. Three whole pearls in here. Nice. These are the ones the taxi driver got. Yeah. He's, when he he said, said they were for us, but he, he didn't mention that uh, he put them in safekeeping. Yeah. Oh my god, he's in Alpha Section 2. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just a little bit of waiting. But, um. And people are bringing up Dishonored as a yeah, much more recent new stealth yeah, IP. Yeah, like the so, most yeah. recent ones are like Dishonored and the new Hitman. Mm hmm. And. I mean, there was Phantom Pain, which we'll be LPing, but that's pretty much it, I think. Can't really think of any other, like, <laughs> big stealth games. There is Alkane's Gun or something. I forget exactly what it was called. Oh, right, this makes that door go up. Yeah, you should probably go through it. Oh, oh. just slightly too small for Jade. Also, I should just kick this man. Not all the alpha uh, sections actually have the tank on them. Uh, like the ones earlier, you just have to sneak through them. But with these guys, mm -hmm. just kick yeah, them. You, it's very easy to sneak once they're suffocating. <laughs> also, I like the way they indicate like where you should be hiding for the next section just by moving the shadows of the boxes. Oh, that's so cool. It's pretty neat. Also, they give you a good lead up because there's all those blinking lights like underneath where the next alpha section is, but it's nice. It makes this part not frustrating. Mm hmm. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> Just give the elevator right, so a good stare down. Is to stand in this hallway 
into an open abyss and watch things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will there be things to watch? Probably not. No. Uh, there is an elevator once a month. Also, uh, there's no guardrails, so be careful. You might get sleepy. Don't lean forward. <laughs> They, they got so many doms that need human hosts. Mm -hmm. There's no shame in, you know, losing a few down elevator shafts. They, they've <laughs> got the manpower to spare. Double H, there are tons of alpha sections in the subsoil of Hillis. Better not stick around here much longer. In the subsoil? Subsoil? They're growing them like, like trees? Whoa. So yeah, that, that whole area loops you back around to this area where we were earlier, but we were on the other side. Yeah, yeah. With all the area with all the spiders. Uh, but that's not the only place you can go thanks to those keys. I believe there's uh, one other. Oh, right, and even more protesters. Mm -hmm. Or Shawnee superfans. <laughs> okay, we got two Shawnee superfans and one person who actually cares about the issue like at hand. Peace. <laughs> yeah. It's a big fan of peace. Oh my god, somebody who isn't in the secret club. Whoa. Amazing. <laughs> Recruit them, they're ready. They're yeah, they're just They're converted. Let's go. Oh, another pearl. Buy that, buy that. Double H please. It's one of these places that has the uh, the chip scanners, so I have to wait like a minute and a half for it to read my card. <laughs> and also, uh, before okay. we go to uh, next key card place, uh, since we did, you know, send a bunch oh, of photos, yeah. there is a new a new uh, a new zine to get. Take a look at our handiwork. Yeah. The first time I played this game, I I never even really thought that like, oh, the photos you you publish actually do get put in more zines you can actually go pick up so <laughs> it's such a nice touch it is iris 513 human traffic at the neutropils factory at the nuptials <laughs> factory <laughs> people are being forced into marriages according to the alpha sections the shuttles between the factory and the slaughterhouse ensure the provisioning of our soldiers But our reporters have successfully infiltrated these places. The factory is actually a cover for human traffic. Hundreds As you can tell from this blurry ass photo. <laughs> surveillance of the alpha sections. The alpha sections themselves are controlled by the doms. Like that could just be really good pixel art right there. You don't know. The alpha <laughs> sections are traitors under the They really compressed your work to hell. Yeah, it, it's kind of missing. Like, the composition's there, but a lot of the, the soul is gone. I'm a little disappointed, mm -hmm. actually. So what other side missions you want to do before we head to the slaughterhouse? Yeah, there, there's one more secret, like, alpha section uh, place we can go. Actually, two. Excuse me. There's two. Uh, one you cannot get into until you get double H. We've only had to have him do it, like, once so far. Uh, but while Paige could, like, cut open gates and stuff with his wrench... He can, like, smash open iron gates and stuff with his head? Yeah, he's got one thick head. Welcome to the shed. It's a super secret shed. It's full of rats. That's it. Nothing else we thought to call it. It's... it's a shed. All that is in here is just uh, a cabinet with a pearl in it. Uh, and if you want to open it, you have to have uh, talked to uh, that goat in the bar who gives you this ticket uh-huh it all comes together and also it's like a, a second chance to get a picture of those bugs at like cheese if you didn't do it in the dungeon <laughs> again the game is very nice they don't it's not really possible to miss any pictures of animals mm-hmm there there is like a point in this game that's a point of no return but it's they don't explicitly say it, but it feels fairly obvious. It's like, oh, if I do this. You took so much time in that shed. Oh, my God. Yeah, wow. Wait a minute. The entire planet spun around. <laughs> that was just Michelle on cell showing what the engine can do. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's one area over here. We haven't really taken a look at it at all. That's covered in iron bars, but we can just have Double H smash it. 10-4! Carlson and Peters! What a good, good boy. <laughs> what a good, broad boy. There's a lot of boy to like. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of shoulder pads to love. <laughs> Leads to. Nino told me about this place, the secret storehouse of the Alpha Sections. And when did Nino tell you about this? And when did you remember who Nino is? Hmm. I'm not clear okay. on the timeline. <laughs> I'm not moving. Be careful. <laughs> I ain't doing shit. I'm not moving. I've contacted my landlord for a lease extension. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable here. <laughs> Have you ever tried moving, Miss Iris? It sucks. I hate it. What a fucking pain. I mean, what a pain. Carlson and Peters, don't swear. Be a good boy. <laughs> That's page one of Carlson and Peters. Be a good boy. Don't swear. <laughs> page two, don't swear. Carlson and Peters, chapter 12. No naughty talk. <laughs> That does make the romance chapter rather limited, Miss mm -hmm. Cyrus. Page 240, no alcohol or drugs. Page 241, draw an X on your hand. Show your really straight edge. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is no uh, romance chapter, but there is Carlson's Peter. <laughs> and uh, that's an unofficial spin-off. Whoa. Like, they, they move back and forth with, with such accuracy. Like, they must have had training to tell them, like, the frequency at which you do an about face. <laughs> Doors clear. Hallways clear. Doors clear. Hallways right. clear. There are two things we take pride in on this planet. Uh, exploiting the indigenous population <laughs> and about face. <laughs> All right, so this turret right here. Um, some some stealth sequences in the game, you cannot get caught at all. So if you do get caught, you don't even like get to fight the alpha sections. That cannon right there will just shoot you instantly dead. Well, I'm glad somebody uh, is, is paying attention. Mm -hmm. And the uh, what's funny though is that like they can't see at all. Like something else has to catch you. Like these mm -hmm. spotlights. You can still go into caution, though. It's not like instant, instant death. Thankfully. I love these giant crates of cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if they were full of, like, gold coins or, or just, like, <laughs> fat wads of Benjamins? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Guy had five bucks on him. <laughs> Well, he won't be needing it where he's going. Oh, wait, I got to crouch. I'm thinking of the, the later laser puzzle where you do jump. <laughs> Whoops, it's okay. There's always time for a little jumping. Mm -hmm. How many we got? We could buy like, everything. We could buy all of Mama Go right now. We're, we're, we almost have enough to buy the most expensive thing from their store. If it we're wasn't, gonna... you know, quote unquote, out of stock, wasn't their display model. <laughs> Whoa, camera switched all of a sudden. That was scary. Forget the most expensive parts. Just buy the lease out from under them. <laughs> uh, this, is, <laughs> this is Jade reporting in company's uh, chop shop now. <laughs> and honored yeah. by Uncle Paige, who would have loved to own a chop shop. Mm-hmm. Who's a hog who loved hogs. Riding hogs. He's trying to see if it could kick the, that crate in just the way that both crates blow up, because it makes a weird sound when you do it. <laughs> it's like the sound effects just... Don't get greedy now. There will be plenty of weird sounds. I guess. Once we go back through uh, Paige's home movies. <laughs> Page 
Yeah, here we go. Here's the good stuff. Yeah, this part's pretty rad. Uh, so the spotlights now, they don't, uh, you don't get caught or anything. They just, like, zap you. They just hurt you a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this, I always thought these parts were really cool. The game does segments like this a couple of times, and, like, yeah, this is straight up, I feel like, a precursor to what some, like, scripted action sequences in Uncharted are. Mm hmm Now, is the reason you've been streaming the, uh, Crash Bandicoot remake to, to practice for these sections, or...? Uh, no, I think it's just coincidence. I mean, I, I think it does help a little bit, though, actually. <laughs> Whoa, uh-oh. Don't want to get stunlocked here. Maybe it doesn't help enough. Yeah. Miss Jade, <gasps> everything all right? Fine, but we better get out of here before they discover what I just borrowed from them. Also, I'm going to shove a big uh, KFC pail in my face. <laughs> Alright, so those are the uh, secret little alpha section places we can get to in the city at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe there's still one left. So the next, like, story place to go to... Is race time. Yeah, we need to get to the slaughterhouses, and as Double H said, uh, there are some, like, illegal races being held around the outside of the, the slaughterhouses, and there's actually, like, a secret way to get in there from that the, the third race. Um... But we can't get to the slaughterhouses at all because uh, the the perimeter is kind of cordoned off by laser gates. And the only way we can mm -hmm. get there is if we go to Mamago and buy a bounce kit so that we can make a get a bouncy boat. <laughs> uh, but also, there's some races over here in the city we haven't been to at all yet. Yeah. We're ready for the third race. I'm having a hard time keeping up this chain. If we're going to do the third race, we should at least do them in order. Yeah. Jade's very particular like that. Hey, rookie! Welcome to the championship! The rule is simple. A pearl to the winner. And the next three qualify for the following race. Jade, a fisherman just gave me a pearl that he found in a cave. I'm putting it up for sale. If you're interested, <laughs> come on by. Yeah, Ming Zhu also has, like, multiple different voices in this game, and it's weird. Also, I like that this, hey, uh, Jade. look at this. It's an ad for K-Bups. Oh, I need to, like, back up a bit here so we can properly view it. Boom, boom, put them in your face. K-Bups, K-Bups all over the place. <laughs> K-Bups. Yeah, I... <laughs> It's like, I think there's an ad somewhere for Star Coast too, but I'm not sure. But yeah, this place it just shows you the race <laughs> and then uh, we'll let it loop just so we can see the beginning of the K-Bups thing that I missed. But I like the K-Bups ad a lot. It makes it look like you're losing your mind when you eat them. <laughs> You'd have to lose your mind to eat them. Like, what did we just learn? What did we just learn? Mm. Oh my god, look, Star Coast, they're in space. Yeah, yeah. here's the Star Coast. Oh my god, look at him. It's a Rayman man. It's a Rayman man. Crossed with like a worms a worms man. Whoa. Alright, time to school these fools. Yeah. Let's race. I, I feel like Star Coast might be more extreme than K-Bubs. <laughs> the whips, the weak, and the wusses! Still have three more seconds to get the hell out! Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, chat. That is the character from Tonic Trouble, right. who is not a Rayman. Right, Tonic Trouble. I forgot about that game. No, he's not uh, the Olympic mascot from Atlanta 96. That's a completely <laughs> separate, terrifying little creature. Yeah. Ugh. I remember him a little. I remember a news report where, like, he drank too much coke and almost died or something. What? And I've never been able to find this, and maybe it's just something I made up as a tiny child. Wait, like a local news report thing, or...? It was, like, it, it was just some fluff piece 
about the mascot, but it was framed like Izzy was a real thing that had a serious Coca-Cola addiction. Oh my god. Because, you know, Atlanta. <laughs> right, right. Huh. Oh. And it terrified me <laughs> if it existed. Whatever I re- remember, whether real or fictional, did terrify me. Yeah. That first race is very easy. There, there was uh, uh, just shots of Izzy being wheeled into an ambulance because of his Coca-Cola Whoa. OD. Oh my god. But anyway, while I was telling that story, we won the race. Yeah, the first race takes like a minute. It's super easy. Race two isn't too much harder. Also, I like that in these races, like, it is completely fine and not against the rules to shoot everyone. (laughs) They just spin a bit. They They should deal with it. It's true. They just spin a bit. The whips, the weak, and the wusses still have three more seconds to get the hell out of here and back to your knitting. (laughs) Look, knitting is hardcore. Those needles are huge. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, is this Secundo? Whoa. Yeah, like the instant you start racing, you just start shooting a lot, and like, it helps out a little bit. (laughs) Uh, Some races have some, I mean, you know, there's boost pads and stuff too, but there's a couple, like, little shortcuts as well Mm -hmm. uh, that can help, especially the later races. And also just use your boost items here too. There isn't a huge reason to use boosts normally. Except for like one or two boss fights later on. Whoa, that smoke was mm-hmm. covering the whole screen. <laughs> it was dangerous. What do Carlson and Peters have to say about underground uh, hovercraft racing? <laughs> uh, it's it seems like they just think it's great fun. They really do have something to say about everything. Those guys. They do. Like, are they guys? Am I being like? Is my patriarchy showing? Maybe. I don't know. I can't wait till uh, in the sequel we meet Carlson and or Peters. Oh, God. If they did that, if they, like, should <laughs> give you, like, the origin Carlson and Peters, like, it's a, a fairly new thing, that would be great. Or not even them, but what if we get to read the dang book? Yeah, I, I would be fine with even reading the dang book. Oh, but but you have to like rotate it in the uh, item viewer in order to see the uh, the <laughs> author's bio on, oh. on the flap. <laughs> yeah. I just wonder how big Carlson and Peters can be because I think they go via comments. It goes up to at least like page nine hundred. There's a lot you need to know. I guess so. It just sounds like it goes... It sounds like it starts with, like, being a soldier's guidebook and then, like, just evolves into the Bible. (laughs) The Hillian Bible. (laughs) I like how into the races Devil H gets, even though he's just watching. Yeah, yeah. Is it possible to do the races with Paige? Like, is that open before the Switch? Yes, yeah, so you can actually do the okay. f- first... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first two with Paige. How into racing is Paige? Oh, pr- he's pretty into it. Oh, no, I don't want to go into race one. All right, all right. Uh, maybe I'll actually go back and, like, see what his comments are uh, off stream. I like that Mamago advertises here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 